Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Cryptid Tutorial Series, where we talk about various things uh, creative and otherwise uh, complicated and less than intuitive to uh, help you guys out. And today we're going to be talking about the Elgato Game Capture System and their uh, Game Capture HD software that works with the Elgato Game Capture card and the uh, Game Capture HD 60, which I myself am using right now. And so the primary thing here is we want to talk about flashback recording because one of the things that the Elgato does is along with allowing you to specifically capture any old device that exports an HDMI signal um, and also streaming and live commentary it also lets you just let it run in the background doing its thing so long as your hard drive is fast enough and at any point so long as you don't turn it off in the middle you can go back and you can record some of what you've been doing so I just got done Messing around, um, doing some B-roll on Mars, Mars Patrol, B-roll. You always want to make sure that down here in the tag section, you always title your videos and um, give it some tags and descriptions and stuff so that you don't lose track of which is which, because I don't know about you, but I record a lot of different stuff during the week. Um, so I just got done doing some B-roll recording for my eventual final review of Destiny, and I'm done doing the sort of um, storyline playthrough um, for YouTube. And so I didn't hit the record button. But as you notice, there's this full blue bar of all of this almost an hour's worth of recording session. And I want to go back and get that because this is like my live um, flashback recording buffer right here. This 57 minute timer going on right now. So you'd think there'd be like a flashback recording button somewhere or... You know, like there's a screenshot button and a mute audio button, but there's no flashback recording recording button specifically. Well, in order to do that, we actually just grab this little timeline and we travel back in time to our desired uh, point in time. This was when I was back in town. Um, here we go. Here's when I starting to derp around. We'll break. Let's uh, let's jump into right about here. Yeah, that looks about right. As you can see, I can actually get a live feed of all the video that's being recorded as it's, you know, doing its thing right here in the panel so I can uh, quickly jump around and figure out exactly where I want to record from. But I want to take it back to right about here when I jump onto the planet, jump onto my bike and start doing stuff. So all I do is I select in the point where I want to start from and then from here forward is what the, the uh, system will record for me. So I make sure that I've got my video titled the Mars Patrol B-roll. And um, then I just hit capture. And suddenly it jumps forward. It cuts that piece out of my uh, flashback recording and says, okay, I want to keep this and puts it in with everything else. Now, something you might want to double check is up here in this um, settings. There is where you keep your um, videos. This is, I just keep mine in the default location because I take them out and move them to my external hard drive later. But you want to make sure that the enable flashback recording is selected. And if you do do um, audio recordings, make sure that you have record live commentary to a separate audio track because that lets you take the audio track out of your video of your beautiful voluptuous voice and put it into something like Adobe Audition or audacity like i do so that you know if you got like a dog barking in the background or maybe you're too close to the microphone and you can hear some breathing um you can quickly just pull that noise out you can audio gate it and move on with your life and you don't have to worry about quality because it's snap 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 and it's done um but other than that um i kind of like using uh the recording software for the elgato um I don't necessarily use the editing suite. I'll show you how that works, but you know, you can quickly fine tune your game audio here in the audio tab. If you want to do live streaming, all you got to do is click this button, select what service you use, or just if you have a new service, you can just custom log in right here. And then you can set what your stream is called, and then it's just you click the button down here and you're streaming. It's not complicated. It doesn't require a gajillion little settings. It does it for you, and you know what? That's pretty nice. Um Live commentary. I use Audition to record my commentary, but I have tried this. This is actually not bad. It lets you select your microphone, like, say, the Blue Yeti that I've got right here. 
and then you can set what levels it hears it at. Um, and um, this is basically audio ducking. And if you're not familiar with ducking, on this little clicky right here, it lets you, anytime words come out of your mouth, um, the game audio will automatically be reduced so people can hear you crisply and clearly. And then if you want to twiddle with removing the background information or noise, so it only pays attention when your voice is making noise, you can play with these threshold and attenuation settings. But there's plenty of tutorials about that stuff and plenty of really wonderfully written information, so I'm not going to worry about that. So we've got the Mars Patrol B-roll. And quickly, you know, just because I want to save myself a little bit of time, I want to actually edit that in the Elgato and then export the video so I can then take it into Premiere and make it all smexy. So we just hit up Edit. And it opens up our list of all of the different videos we've got. Um, you can set by game type or creation date. I, I, all of my videos are generally uh, moved very quickly out of that folder. So um, this was my strike playlist B-roll, some stuff um, that's mislabeled like a Naris. But I want this, this patrol B-roll, and it pops up this little timeline down here with a clipping tool to chop up your little timeline and um, a toss tool to throw unused bits into the garbage, and then you can zoom in and zoom out with the plus and minus stuff. So the start of this isn't too bad. I think I've actually got some extra crap at the end here. Yeah, I got a bunch of me just sitting in orbit doing nothing important. So I'm actually going to jump back to here wherever I exit to orbit. And I'm actually going to hit the little scissors button, flip it out right here, click on this like unused piece of the clip so it's highlighted in blue, then hit the trash can. Then I could just take my cursor here and I could clip this up if I wanted to pull out stuff like when I found this blue drop. It was like right here. As you can see, you can even do like a live preview in here. And I imagine even though I haven't tested it um, with your live commentary, I do believe the live commentary does show up in here too so that you can actually edit it together. Is it expansive and easy to make really dynamic edits? No. Is it great for little mini clips and, you know, quickly cleaning up your clips so it doesn't take as long when you're in Premiere? Absolutely. This is probably the snappiest video editor that I've ever messed with. It certainly works really well for Elgato, and, you know, even if you're not a big YouTuber, I definitely recommend this piece of software, this piece of equipment, um, because what you see is what you get with the Elgato. You don't have to worry about, like, um, things like XSplit and OBS. I've run into a lot of problems with audio drifting, which is, as you go along, the audio slowly or immediately gets out of sync with what's happening in the game, and you got to spend a lot of time fine-tuning it and resynchronizing it. it. takes a lot of extra time, and boy, is it a pain in the butt. The other thing is, this has absolutely nothing to do with the power or strength of your graphics card. Because it's not a software um, recorder, you know, it can whatever you see is what you get. Um, you just need something that outputs an HDMI signal from whatever it's got to plug into. Like an iPad can do that. Most Android phones, the iPhone. I mean, I record from all sorts of devices with this, including my computers. Just not my, um, just not my Mac. I actually use ScreenFlow for this, but that's because I'd have to record off of this back onto my PC. You need a secondary computer to record from one computer to the other. So it's not for everybody, but I definitely recommend it. It's nice, and it, it's not locked down like the built-in capture card for like PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. So if you're looking for an alternative solution, yes, it's more expensive, quite a bit more expensive than a lot of other recording solutions, but you avoid a lot of, a lot of trouble, a lot of headaches. You just mirror your output to HDMI and your desktop, and you're good to go. Hope this uh, this little mini tutorial has helped you guys out uh, with how to handle your flashback recordings. I wasn't actually quite sure how to do that, and I didn't use it for the longest time. But after I figured it out, it was nice because sometimes you double-click this red recording button and you don't necessarily record everything, or you miss that little that little bit at the start. So you can quickly go back and capture anything that you may have forgotten, missed, or didn't hit the button correctly, and you don't have to worry about it. So I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Thank you for joining me for another uh, cryptid tutorial. There'll be more coming as I kind of figure out different stuff that people are interested in doing. Um, if you have a suggestion, please throw it out there in the comments. And if you have a question, 
about any of these finer tuned settings or even just um, the Elgato capture settings themselves that handle your picture quality, let me know. I can even make another tutorial about that or just answer your questions in the comments. I'd love to help you guys out. It doesn't take me that long. I try to get to as many comments as I can. So until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe and toodaloo.